I challenge Claude 3.7 Sonnet and Grok 3 with identical tasks that CEOs and marketing leaders need daily. The performance gap was shocking, especially on task number three. So today I'm going to reveal the results of my head to head comparison between two of the most advanced AI models right now, Claude 3.7 and Grok 3 that I use all the time. And personally, when I tested out Grok 3 for the first time, it gave me life-changing advice that can transform the future of my business. So once I noticed that, I needed to sit up and take that a lot more serious compared to Grok 2. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to go through three critical tasks that nearly every business owner needs to accomplish. And we're going to go through those areas really quickly. I gave identical prompts to both models, exact wording, exact parameters, same context, and I use the paid versions of both platforms. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Ryan Staley. I help deliver AI transformation for PE, VC, and publicly traded companies to multiply revenue, profit, and capacity without hiring in less than 60 days. I've been doing that for over two years, and it's been some of the most rewarding work that I've ever done. Okay, so let's get done. I'm going to walk you through the number one thing first that you're going to see in these areas about the side-by-side -side comparison. So I'm going to share my screen with you, and what you're going to see are some really eye-opening stats. So over here, first of all, we'll start on the Grok side. Grok 3 AI, um, really interesting benchmarks that it has performing at an extremely high level for some really amazing models. Like you see DeepSeek, Gemini, 01 and 03 on here. Same thing with math, as well as on top of it, 2 QA, multimodal understanding, 78 at the same time, live code. We look at Sonnet, same thing. Um, the real interesting thing about Sonnet, though, is this came out after Grok 3. It has them as a comparison in there. But as you see, Grok 3 still is rated higher on some of these areas that it both has examples in, uh, and specifically pretty high in terms of the high school math competition, which I thought was kind of interesting in terms of high school math. But I want to show you the actual side by side. So I'm going to type in the same prompt, both of these. This prompt is going to be more on trending examples. And as you can see, we're exploring the top emerging trends in app scaling and sales and marketing for 2025, focusing on these trends and the new future landscape. OK, so I'm going to let these rock and you're going to see in real time how they perform. Now, while that's working side by side, one of the things that you're going to notice is I'm not going into the deep reasoning models or the deep research for this. That almost needs to be a whole separate video because there's a little there's kind of a long time that happens. It could be minutes that we just be sitting here staring at each other. And I don't want you to have to do that, right? Now, granted, I can always edit this out, but I want to give you examples in real time so you can see the exact speed, okay? So this is what came out on the Claude side. So top emerging trends, content generation, predictive analytics, emotional intelligence, sentiment, collaborative intelligence. So these are kind of broad in terms of my opinion. Uh, I'm surprised it didn't have anything about AI agents in there. That's an upcoming area. Skill gap and adaptations, ROI measurement, opportunities, thought leadership. So I'm not really blown away by this in terms of the ideation based on trending, okay? <clears throat> so now <clears throat> let's go into Grok and see what Grok, Grok did, okay? So hyper-personalization through AI literacy, integration of AI agents into sales workflows, data-driven making mastery is that what it is oh it's really interesting okay so it's got some other areas opportunities five thought leadership content ideas okay so here's what i love it listened to my instructions and it gave an example for linkedin youtube and podcast in each one of these areas which claude did not listen and do okay so that's a big difference the other thing that i didn't highlight is on here it also gives all the background details for citing areas, which I thought was good. And if you look at this, like these details and references are pretty good. I mean, it's got McKinsey, it's got PwC in there. Yeah, it's got Microsoft. So some pretty reputable examples. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a cheat code that'll make any example better. So um, now make this 10X better, okay? So now you know what that is. You can use that for any prompts or any example as a follow-up. And what you're going to see is it's going to make this richer and a higher quality output content. Now, when you do this in Claude, it's good if you have specific writing, but for ideation, it starts to get and use very big words. And that's kind of its example of what it's thinking. So I like some of these areas about how it's identifying the challenges as a high stakes game, unassailable advantage, 
the AI playbook for 2020. Like, I'm going to use some of this stuff. Like, this is pretty freaking cool uh, on what they're doing here. So I think that's because in the training data, it probably has a lot of X content, which has some really good writers and thread creators. So I'm going to give this one for round one. Round one is to Grok. All right. Good job, Elon. Way to knock this out. I'm proud of you. You're doing an amazing job, right? The actual thing that I didn't talk about that I was blown away with that Elon did is he basically built this, I think it was in like 120 days and did 200,000 GPUs, which is insane and why Grok is so fast. All right. Next topic. We're going to go through brand. Okay. So we're going to go through brand awareness, which is the predecessor of inbound leads. It's the predecessor of people trusting you. It's what companies, it's like that invisible force in the background that gives you validation without someone talking to you. And this is really, really critical. Okay. So what I'm going to do is we could put any kind of company in here. I'm going to put Ryan Reynolds company, Aviation Gin. And the reason why I'm doing that is because he is a genius at building companies and then growing them and selling them for insane amounts of money. So we're going to click on go for both of these. It's going to build out in real time. All right. So this time, let's look at Grok for this in real time. All right. So let's go to Grok first. I have a feeling I know who's going to win this one. Okay. I like that it has the date. It's prepared for chief marketing officers, which is really interesting. And this is almost like a briefing, right? What's evaluated, the findings, interpretation, SEO traffic analysis, Reddit and social media evaluation. So some good stuff in here, but it's a little general, which I'm kind of surprised because I thought with brand, I thought X would be able to kill it on here. Heavy reliance on his humor and video content. It's got recommendations, data visual strategy. Okay. So now let's look at the other side of it. Let's see how Claude did. When you have that much data, I think having something like this is absolutely amazing. It's got an engagement rate by platform. And at the same time, it's got each kind of social media platform, which I think is really good. SEO traffic analysis, it's got details on that. Oh, wow, look at this. It's got a comparative table. That's pretty slick. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so it's got a comparative table content strategy, and then recommendations. Okay, so I think, and it gives like visual data representation suggestions. Okay, so I think for, for round two, I think literally I might have to give that one to Claude, right? So we got Grok at one for winning task one. We got Claude with number two. Who do you think is going to win? What do you think is going to happen in step three? Okay, we're going to see. Now for task three. This one had a shocking difference. So what you're going to see is, I, sh I shared some docs in terms of, this is a little meta, but I was doing research on Claude Sonnet and I was doing research on keywords, as you can see here. So these are what I filtered in, or I should say I fed into both the models from a data perspective that you see here. And then this is the prompt, right? So I need you to act like a data scientist who specializes in generating deep insights, memorable visualization of data. And I gave it three very specific instructions. Now, for those of you who don't know, this is like a micro hack that you could use. The cool thing about if you list it in numbers like this, you could give basically a prompt multiple step exercises so it knows to do that. So really, really good tool if you want more of a complex output. So let's go through what, what happened over here with our friend Grok. Okay, so some pretty solid areas right off the get-go. So it identifies the key observations with like search interest, artificial intelligence. So these are more on the keyword side. So it's it's giving me high opportunity keywords. It deconstruct how to leverage this data for YouTube growth, which I thought was really sharp. High, high engagement niches, evergreen AI content. I love that. So it's talking about evergreen AI content, which is good. Benchmark for top performers. And then here's here's where I thought Grok, I was a little bit, I was concerned about this because like I've seen so many amazing visuals online with Grok in terms of what it creates, but it just verbally listed it out. Can you please code if you need to visualize? This is really important. And then it basically built out the code, which was really interesting. So I, once again, awesome like observations. It just didn't give that visualization that I was looking for. And so I was a little disappointed on that. Now, once again, I did not do some of the deep research examples by design for these models, 
and Claude wasn't perfect either. Now, what we're going to see here is Claude, as you could see within this, basically it identifies the details. It got stuck in the analysis a little bit. So I just had to say continue uh, and can you fix this a couple times, right? So that was a little bit of a bummer, um, just like how I'd instruct Grok a little bit more about what to do. Um, now, this is where I was blown away, okay? So this part, it gave kind of an executive summary on some of the insights with top performing channels, impact, growth strategy and recommendations, competitive edge strategy. Uh, so there's some interesting insights on the Grok side that was a little more granular. Now, I didn't use uh, the special capability of extended or deep think for either one of these, just so you know. But this is where I was really impressed with Claude because I think we visualize hundreds of thousands of times better when we actually see data. So it basically created this whole interactive dashboard without me asking any extra work. So it has this here, it's got the different areas I could look on this. Um, if I were trying to make decisions on different areas and then it gives a summary at the bottom, which which I thought was cool, like key insights. I didn't even ask it for that. Same thing on the keyword analysis. It talks about best ones for search volume, fastest growing results, trends. And then once again, it's got the, the key insights. So Claude Sana is the 272% growth rate. So it's an emerging trend. And then last but not least, what we have here are basically the top channels, subscribers, and then content output by channel. Okay, so that was the side by side. So as a comparison on task three, I say task one, if we look at it, right? We have Grok on task one. Okay, task two, we have Claude, right? I was, I was really impressed with that. And the brand analysis was really impressive. And then three, because of the visualization, I think Claude edges out Grok. And so that's what I would look at comparing these head to head, right example. Now there's so many other use cases for both of these. This is just a micro example of how to look at it. But if we're going to look at it, um, here's how I would kind of wrap it up. Grok, most real-time current information, comprehensive real-time analysis, and rapid trend identification. We look at the strengths of Claude on this side, right? We have Claude 3.7 for strategic thinking and complex interpretation when drilling down. Now, I did test this on my own. Grok 3 does a really good job of that, too. However, clear actual data visualizations and then some nuanced understanding. When we break down the cost, here's another factor to think about. Grok costs $40 a month. Cloud 3.7 costs $20 a month. So Grok is basically twice as much. Now, at the same time, there are free capabilities, but we're only testing that. But here's the most valuable insight. Not a lot of people are going to tell you this. And everybody's going to rave on this YouTube channel or LinkedIn or wherever you're watching this about how the model is amazing, it's blowing everyone's mind, but here's the big thing. Always include these four elements in any business related AI prompt, right? We got the goal, we got the specific audience identification, who needs this information? I had referenced CMOs in a couple areas. Decision context, what actions will inform this output, right? And then what's the format that you wanted it? How should this be structured? Is it in a table? Is it a visualization? This framework alone is gonna improve your results 50, 60% on average. And most people lean on the models. These models are getting so much closer. The edges in these different models are significant if you stack them. However, overall, for most users, you just follow what I told you and you're gonna have amazing results. So remember, the right AI for the right AI task can give you a big boost and a big edge over your competition in less than two months. If you're a CEO, CRO, or CMO and have a team of over 30, apply for a free AI consult. I haven't listed this out before. We can identify how you can scale your team revenue and profit in as little as two weeks without hiring. So thanks for watching and I will see you all on the next video.